Welcome to the final part of Crash Bandicoot 4 Developer Relics. We're finally here, Cortex Castle and Seeing Double. Now, I know for a fact Cortex Castle will not take that long to complete. The time is very easy. It's one of the easiest dev times in the game. I know I need to take quite a bit of time off from my 150 because I need to beat a 134, but my time is just shit. There's a bunch of cool tricks that you can do on this level that I didn't implement, and yeah, so I don't think it'll take that long to get this one down. Seeing double, on the other hand, might be a bit tougher in terms of time and just playing in general because it's Cortex. So one thing people do is this. They get up there so they don't have to wait for the thing. It's genius. That saves a bunch of time as it is. You can also slide jump up there. You don't have to wait. We actually made that. We actually made that. This bit, I could have kind of slide, but I'm not going to. And I could do it much faster. Oof. Oh, come on. I wanted to slide spin. Thankfully, that trick is so easy. I can't believe I didn't even try that. And then here there's a trick. That, that is not the trick. That That's not the trick. The trick is you don't wait for the elevator. You just use gravity. Okay. Can I just skip that guy then, or like, do I have to push him off first? Well, that's fucking... Oh, it's actually not that bad at all. It's alright, I see my issue that I'm making with Connor. Yeah, don't fucking ask me what that was. Oh my god. <sighs> fucking gliding on the thing. Right, first time here. Let's just finish it, shall we? Yeah, right. Oh, wait. Oh my god. It's okay, I'm, I'm, I'm cooking with what I've got stored for that bit. Get the f I have to wait for the disc. Alright, let's, let's try and cook this time. Okay, you can't cook. You can't cook. You can't cook. They don't let you cook on this level because uh, when you go backwards to try and get a triple spin off for a Kano, it doesn't work. They just get rid of it. Bro, that fucking fire crate is stupid.
What a fantastic situation we are in, Crash, right now. We're not going to get that far like that, are we? Oh, this is an even worse situation, Crash. We're not going to get a developer relic like this, are we, mate? I don't even know what the death time is, but I know that's it. One eleven seventy seven. so I'm going to return to this level. I know I can do it quicker than that. And I'm happy with that, but I could do better, so I'm definitely going to return to this level. It's really fun to speedrun. But yeah, one eleven seventy seven. let's move on. Right, seeing double, the final level. I've got a 123 and I need to beat a 108. Just going to be about catching them platform cycles with Cortex and doing Crash's part as fast as possible without Triple Aku. I still think you get a couple of masks, but it's definitely not as easy as the I other version. Me fail. I mean, fail differently. I mean, oh, Crash. Classic. For this run, I'm using Geordi's example. So what he does is he gets his cycle. And then, yeah, I missed the two crate because I was kind of rushing, but. Okay, that, that, that's just fucked. That's fucked. Okay, first of all... First of all, I'm gonna have to damage boost this. That is just without a doubt. This is wasting way too much time. If I had my Accus, I would have been able to do that. Uh, don't get a high boost on that because then I can't. Okay, the fact that we're here already is good. That was obviously a terrible run, but the fundamentals were there. I've just got to do it 
with the correct damage boosting. I've got to do it with the correct damage boosting and making sure I get all the crates and that bit is already fully optimized. I'm not going to do it exactly like Geordie does though. But look, watch this. Get a jump there. Or instead of like a boost. That was kind of shit, honestly, but it's okay. Oh, yeah. No, I see. So if I shoot the top one, then land on it, I have enough iframes to get through. Oh, those... I don't know what it is about these things, but obviously you want to go in there to make sure the shot hits, but you don't want to get blown up by a TNT. Exactly my point. It's the worst part about this whole level, and I really like seeing double overall. See, I like that. I like that a lot. You dickwad. Yeah, so that's what you, you want. Okay. Okay. I see. I see the truth. Like that. High frames. <laughs> oh, that works. So this piece of shit. Yeah. Oh my god, what? What the? F yeah, Cortex, mate. Shooting in the right direction. There we go. No way! Had to wait. How the fuck is the ghost there? What? How do you even do that quicker?
Yeah, and he goes through there, so with no Aku for that bit. But that's ridiculous. I mean, I did catch up to him, to be fair. But I don't know how the fuck he's doing this bit faster than that. Like, that is genuinely ridiculous. This is, like, skipping all the slowest parts possible. I, like, catching this cycle here is the earliest you can get. Catching this next one here is the earliest you can get. So, I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Wait. <laughs> what? That's it. That's it. We're done. We're done. We're done. It's a 108. It's a 108. He slowed right down. He slowed right down. And I caught up with him. Well, that is it. We're done. We, we have beaten everything in Crash 4. We've 106%ed it. And then we've even gone and beaten all the developer relics. So currently it's the 18th of September. When this video goes out, it should be October 7th because I'm spacing them out a day in between. But let me just check how long it's actually been because I only start the series. I think it was this month, actually. I started on the 1st of September, so it's taken just over two weeks to beat these. But yeah, wow, I have to say these were so much more enjoyable than I thought they would be, which is why I ended up doing them so quickly. I genuinely thought these would be nearly impossible for me to get. I feel like anybody that has done platinum can also achieve these. It just requires a little bit of improving along the way in terms of movement, slide spinning, all that kind of stuff. Let's save the 105 at 68 and then let's take a look at all of them. Level stats, go back to Insanity Island. All purple. All purple. I actually can't believe it, to be honest. But that is like the complete Crash 4 save file with all the purple relics. But yeah, I want to thank Garland the Great for his runs on YouTube because I watched a lot of them as examples. Just to see what kind of tricks you can do in the level or what kind of time you should be at at a certain point. Geordie 925s movement guide was incredibly useful, as well as some of the VODs of certain runs. Abdul the Arabic guy gave me some useful information, gave me some tips, especially on rock blocked, sliding under the lava platforms. Saved me a bunch of time. And just everyone, man, just thank you to everyone, man. Anyone giving me tips in the comments and all that kind of stuff. Believe it or not, after 106%ing the game, after beating all the developers, I am not burnt out. I could continue playing for PBs. It's just I'm not going to because I've got other channels to make content for and I've got the Wrath of Cortex Platinums to start at some point soon. I loved the game already, but completing those was so fun and addictive. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I will have a ranking video coming out the day after tomorrow. It's not going to be the same list as my Platinums either. So yeah, thank you for watching. Definitely subscribe if you're new here and I will see you all in my next video.